Good morning, everybody. It's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been having the most beautiful week so far, and if not, let's spend some time together and see if we can reset. Let's start with a way too up close ratchet ass outfit of the day. <laughs> I have one mirror in my house, and unfortunately it's about two feet away from me, so I can't go any further than this. <laughs> Today I am wearing this lovely top and skirt from Forever 21 because I have very basic, simple, yet agriculturally unfriendly taste. My cat hair is from Misty, and my dry hair is from Head & Shoulder Shampoo. I have this really beautiful summer bouquet that I got from the community garden. I picked out all of these flowers myself. We've got some Cosmo flowers from my own flower bush. We've got this thing that I don't know what it is. We've got amaranth over here and amaranth. Amaranth tastes horrible, but it looks pretty. Flowers just make me so happy. If anybody wants a tour of the community garden, by the way, please let me know because the garden has become my happy place and I would be more than ecstatic to do a whole tour of what we've got going on in that garden. This is a good morning already. Thank you for being here with me. Today I wanted to start off this morning by sharing some of the most personal objects that have been near and dear to my heart for the last four or five years. And those objects are my YouTube notebooks. Starting off my day always includes a brainstorming session in one of these notebooks and these are my actual treasures. I have three to show you. The first one is a plain red notebook that I filled up with ideas when I first decided that I wanted to start a YouTube channel back in 2014. The second one is actually my third one <laughs> because my second one I filled up with stuff and then I left it on a taxi. Heart broken. And then this third one is my new one, because every new era deserves a new notebook. And in these notebooks I have everything from sketches to ideas to full-on scripts of some of the videos that you've seen on this channel. So let's get started! I want you to see some of these! This was the very first notebook I ever kept. Somewhere around 2014, I finally decided that I wanted to start a YouTube channel and I got so excited. I took this notebook to a park and all I did for the next three or four hours was just write down any idea that I could think of. I don't know if any of you know this, but when I first got onto YouTube, I thought, my ass thought, that I was going to be a beauty guru back in the days when like all you needed to be a beauty guru was a naked palette and a dream. Even though a lot of these ideas in themselves are not necessarily useful to me today, you can easily take a bad idea or a useless idea and spin it into something totally new with your experience that you have today. Although I don't think I'm gonna be doing anything like a um, makeup mayhem on my channel, I could possibly turn that into an art mayhem, a book mayhem, a fashion mayhem, oh all the mayhems. <laughs> For example, an idea that I probably can't use anymore. <laughs> my dad does my makeup tag. I can change that to my dad does my makeup from the beyond. <laughs> but I feel like I would be the only one to think that was funny and everyone else would just look at the camera very concerned. <laughs> meet my parents could be changed to meet my parent. Totally still workable. <laughs> There's just an endless supply of inspiration when you allow yourself to have any sort of idea. This second sketchbook is easily the most valuable one that I have. It is the one with the most development. This sketchbook is falling apart because this is the one that I have taken with me everywhere since 2015. I really like pasting inspirational images in my sketchbooks too because since this is the object that I'm gonna be carrying around in my hands the most, it really helps that I have reminders of what my mindset needs to be like in this object. This is the entire script from my How to Deal with Losing a Parent video. You can also see some illustrations that I made of myself when I wanted to do this specific fall fashion lookbook. It's interesting to look back at objects from your past. You can always sort of connect the dots and realize that where you are currently 
is really no surprise. <laughs> habit when I was very poor of having ideas that were way beyond my means. <laughs> I had this horrible idea to do a subscription box and it was with all good intentions, right? Now the idea of a subscription box is not bad, however, I didn't have the means to make this box. I was surviving on like $12 a week, $20 a week, <laughs> and the ideas for this subscription box were things like making stickers and buttons and shirts and like handmade ornaments, things that one would need money and time for. Now I feel like I'm mentally in a place where I can accept things that I'm financially able to do and not do and kind of just tweak them a little bit to make them possible. Some of these pages have come out completely because of how much I've carried this book. The last sketchbook isn't totally done yet. I'm still working on the cover because since I don't have a printer right now, I had to hand draw most of the stuff on there, which takes more time. But this is my new YouTube sketchbook. This is where I'm going to be writing down all the new ideas, all the new scripts, all the new sketches. <laughs> I'm so excited. On the cover, I have three caricatures of the first YouTubers I ever watched. And from the caricatures, it may seem like I hate them <laughs> because of the way I drew them. But I really don't, and that's just how I felt like drawing them at the time. This right here, poor thing, this thing is Ingrid Nilsson. She used to be Miss Glamorazzi on YouTube, and she was the first person I ever discovered. This monster is Bethany Moda. I swear, I love her. <laughs> and then the third one over here is Michelle Fawn. She was the third YouTuber I watched, and so these three ladies really shaped what I thought I could do and shaped the idea of possibilities, but I'm gonna keep on decorating this and see how it goes. I was cleaning my closet yesterday and I found something I think you'll find very interesting, maybe also a little problematic, but you know, we all do stupid things when we're young and I will show you some of mine. It's my diary. This was my diary from when I was 14 years old. Eighth grade, starting my freshman year of high school. I remember feeling all types of possibilities when I first started high school. One of those possibilities was the possibility of my first boo. Little 14 year old Gabby decided to rate some boys. <laughs> I would like to present you with a little bit of cringe. This literature is called List of Possibilities. It's important to know I don't like like any of these guys at the moment. Let's start with the first one, Alfie. Qualities. He's cute but not too cute. Sweet and funny but sometimes I don't have much to say around him. I'm worried that if we do have a future, I might bore him because I'll barely have anything to say. He's one of my best friends and one of the only guys I hug. Three stars. I've known Kane since middle school, but I don't consider him to be one of my best friends. He's cute, he's fast, he's healthy, he's strong, he's in band magnet, and he's very smart in math. He thinks I'm a little weird. No shit. <laughs> Four stars. I think my favorite part of this whole cringe fest is that on the back of this, I just disregarded an entire genre of person. <laughs> Kids in musical theater. Cute, but show-offs. Con, duh, show-offs. Two stars. I'm just so proud of me for not being this anymore. You know, as cringy as these things might be, there's a big reason why I keep stuff like this around. And the reason for that is because I think going back to go forward is one of the most important things a person can do to remember who they are and acknowledge how much they've progressed. I think it's so important to spend time with yourself and figure out who you are. Sometimes I'll come across a person that really has no idea who they are. They don't really know what they like. They don't really know what they want. They don't really know why they're here. Some people feel like they are not allowed to discover themselves. This week, I challenge you to ask yourself if you really understand who you are. I hope you can take some time this week to just sit with yourself and appreciate who you were, who you are, and think about who you might want to be in the future. Leave me a comment down below telling me if you liked this video and 
Just remember that this time in the morning is our time. We can talk about whatever you want to talk about. So if you have a suggestion for something that you'd like to hear in one of these Good Morning with Gabby episodes, leave me a comment. I love you guys. I will see you in my next video on Friday, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye!